This past seven days or so has been absolute chaos for him stock, with the CEO posting several controversial tweets on X, sending shares 8% lower, and then following up with some clarifying tweets a few days later, which saw the stock rebounding afterwards. And exactly a day later, him stock reported blowout Q1 earnings that sent the stock higher by as much as 16%. I don't want to get too much into the politics, but long story short, CEO Andrew Dudem said a few things that upset a lot of investors and that got them considering selling the stock. Well, political risks could be one major reason to sell the stock, but there's also a lot of good reasons to own him stock. And today I want to share with you 10 of those reasons, 10 solid reasons why I'm still bullish on him stock. As always, you can read the article version of this analysis, which you can find the link in the description box below. And with that being said, let's jump straight into reason number one, which is that HIMSS is disrupting the healthcare industry. As you all know, the traditional healthcare industry is highly complex, highly inefficient, and sometimes highly unaffordable. At the same time, healthcare systems often prescribe patients with one-size-fits-all solutions which most of the time is not the most effective solution for patients. Well, Hims and Hers is changing all that, and the company is basically redefining healthcare through its cutting-edge telehealth platform. In a nutshell, Hims and Hers provides consumers access to high-quality medical care that is convenient, accessible, and affordable, all through its interactive mobile app and website. One area that the company is heavily investing in is personalization, which is basically offering patients customized healthcare solutions based on their unique individual needs, such as dosage, form factor, and type of conditions. By offering personalized solutions, HIMSS and HERS patients get better results and more satisfaction, which is why HIMSS is seeing strong demand for personalized solutions with the number of personalized subscribers up 176% year over year and up nearly six times since Q2 of 2022 to 602,000 subscribers. So this sort of growth tells us that HIMSS must be doing something right and that they are taking a ton of market share from legacy healthcare players. Most of all, it tells us that consumers love the company's products and services, a clear sign that the company is disrupting the boring, old, much-hated healthcare industry. Moving on, the second reason why I like Himstock is that the company has a high-quality business model. The company operates a subscription-based business model, so Hims is generating consistent, predictable software-like revenue. In addition, management also mentioned that they are seeing stronger retention levels as a result of their ongoing efforts to expand their personalized offerings, which further improves revenue quality. More importantly, Hims is able to convert 80% plus of its revenue into gross profits. In Q1, gross profit was $229 million, representing a gross margin of 82%, which expanded by 200 basis points year over year due to increased volume from affiliated pharmacies. As you can see, gross profit has been growing consistently with gross margins expanding over time as well. This shows that HIMSS has high earnings potential, which is a characteristic that I look for in a business. Reason number three is rapid growth. As you can see, the company has been expanding its subscriber base like wildfire. In Q1, HIMSS had 1.7 million subscribers, up 41% year over year, driven by strong demand for personalized solutions. Notably, HIMSS added a record 172,000 net new subscribers in Q1, showing strong demand and brand awareness. I've always said that subscriber growth is a leading indicator of future revenue growth. So it's great to see that the company grow its subscriber base this rapidly. And because of strong subscriber growth, HIMSS was able to generate strong top line numbers. And as you can see, the company's revenue has been growing at high double digits consistently over the last few years. In Q1, revenue was 278 million, up 46% year over year, which beat analyst estimates by $9 million and the high end of management's guidance by $6 million. And because of its record number of net new subscribers in Q1, management also gave out really strong guidance with revenue expected to grow by as much as 43% in Q2 
and 41% in the whole of 2024. So in short, there's no denying the company's blistering growth, and that is one of the major reasons why I'm invested in the company. Now, the next reason why I'm bullish on HIMS is that the company has virtually zero debt. As of Q1, HIMS has $204 million in cash and short-term investments with $12 million of total debt, placing its net cash position at about $192 million. While net cash dropped $19 million quarter over quarter, keep in mind that this is due to the company buying back $28 million worth of its common stock in Q1, which helps to minimize shareholder dilution. And do keep in mind that him still has $20 million of buyback capacity, so at its current buyback rate, I expect HIMS to fully utilize that $20 million buyback capacity in Q2 and subsequently announce a new buyback program in Q2, which should be a major catalyst for the stock. And that would be possible because HIMS is already cash flow positive with an operating cash flow of $26 million in Q1, which is the highest it has ever been for the company, as well as free cash flow of $12 million in Q1 representing a free cash flow margin of 4%. So you might notice that free cash flow is not as high as it was and this was due to the company ramping up capital expenditures to reinvest into the business, which is what the company should do at this stage of its growth journey. That being said, it's great to see the company allocate excess capital for share buybacks and future growth, which is only possible because the company has no debt and is already cash flow positive making him and hers, by definition, self-sufficient. Moving on, the next reason for why I'm bullish on HIMS is that the company is already gap profitable. In Q1, gap net income was $11 million, representing a 4% net margin, which expanded 900 basis points year over year. This is also the company's second consecutive quarter of positive gap net income. On a per share basis, gap earnings per share was 5 cents, as compared to negative 5 cents a year ago. This not only beat analyst estimates by 4 cents, but it also eliminates one of the biggest bear arguments against the stock, that Hims and Hearst cannot turn a profit. And the same goes for adjusted EBITDA, which was $32 million in Q1, which is a 12% margin, up 900 basis points year over year as well. Considering the company's growth and profitability momentum, it won't be long before Hims and Hearst reaches its long-term adjusted EBITDA margin target of 20 to 30%. That being said, gap profitability was due to operating leverage as HIMS and HERS continued to scale. More specifically, HIMS drove strong marketing leverage in Q1 with marketing expenses as a percentage of revenue dropping 400 basis points year over year and quarter over quarter to 47%. In addition, payback period, which is defined as customer acquisition costs divided by gross profit, was 0.49 years in Q1, an improvement from 0.52 in Q4 and 0.55 a year ago. This means that HIMS is getting back their money faster, and this also eliminates another bare argument against the stock, that the company's customer acquisition costs are too high. Whatever it is, the main point here is that HIMS has turned gap profitable with margins set to improve further over the next few years, which shows that HIMS has a scalable business model capable of generating strong earnings for investors. Moving on, the sixth reason is skin in the game. Now, this one is a double-edged sword. On the negative side, the CEO could get too political, which could hurt the company. But on the positive side, Hims is a founder-led company with a visionary CEO. As you can see, CEO Andrew Dudem has a 9% stake in the company worth about $242 million. So he has a lot of skin in the game. And I think his best interest is aligned with shareholder interests which is to grow earnings and drive the stock price higher. Yes, he could be reckless at times, but keep in mind that the Israel-Palestinian conflict won't go on forever. So once this war subsides, people will quickly forget about the CEO's political views. And so it'll be business as usual for him and hers moving forward. So another reason why I'm bullish on him and hers is that the company has been an execution machine. 
As you can see, Hims and Hers has a perfect track record of beating analyst estimates, revenue estimates, with no misses at all. And that speaks volumes about the company's unique value proposition and how well management has executed so far. In addition, management has always over-delivered what they have promised and a prime example of that is that they are going to achieve their 2025 target of at least $1.2 billion of revenue and $100 million of adjusted EBITDA a year early, which is just astonishing. So I think this level of execution is unheard of, which is why I have so much confidence in management as well as the long-term prospect of the business. Reason number eight is that Hims has a long growth story ahead. As mentioned by management, their goal is to grow their subscriber base to more than 10 million, which is more than five times their current subscriber count of 1.7 million. So the next target is 10 million subscribers, which is very much possible given the momentum of the business and some of the initiatives that management has put together. First, they intend to cut prices for their products and services. It's their goal to provide high quality medical care at mass market prices. And given their high gross margin profile, management intends to pass on the savings to consumers by lowering prices. And this should attract a lot more subscribers into the platform. Secondly, they are going to maintain high marketing expenses as a percentage of revenue in the high 30s to low 40s, which should continue to drive strong brand awareness and attract new users to the platform. Thirdly is growing the Hearst brand. As mentioned by management, the Hearst brand is one of, if not the fastest growing part of their business. So management is doubling down on the women's side of their business, which should attract more female subscribers into the platform. And finally, management is laser focused on launching new products and categories and services, including the highly anticipated GLP-1 product, which should attract new demographics to the platform. Above all, what 10 million plus subscribers means is that Hims still has a long growth runway ahead, which also means that the company has the potential to compound earnings for shareholders. So this table shows analyst earnings per share estimates over the next five years. And as you can see, analysts expect EPS of 16 cents in 2024, and then growing by 81% in 2025, 48% in 2026, 26% in 2027 and 19% in 2028, which are pretty strong growth numbers. However, I think this is still too conservative. Let me remind you that in Q1, Hims has an EPS of 5 cents, which is an annual run rate of about 20 cents. Now, I think it's unlikely for Hims to keep EPS stable at 5 cents for the rest of the year. So I think they're going to keep growing earnings with each passing quarter. So I think an EPS of 25 cents in 2024 is more than likely. With that being said, I think Hims is going to destroy earnings per share estimates, which is going to re-rate the stock higher. But the point I want to make is that earnings growth drives stock returns. It's as simple as that. And with the company in the best fundamental position in its entire history as a company, I believe Hims and Hers will be a serious earnings compounder in the next decade or so, which should drive the stock higher over time. Now, all the reasons that I just mentioned don't really matter if this last reason is not true, which is attractive valuation, because valuation always matters. Fortunately, Hims is trading at very attractive valuations, even despite the recent run up in the stock price. As it stands, Hims stock trades at an EV to revenue multiple of just 2.5 times, which is extremely cheap considering all the reasons I just mentioned throughout this video. I believe Hims should be trading at a multiple of 4 to 5 times, which is about double the current multiple. So I think it's perfectly reasonable for Hims to double from its current price of about $12 to $13 a share. As for me, I'm keeping my base case price target relatively unchanged at $28 a share, which represents an upside potential of 119%. Bear case is $21, which is still a decent upside, and the bull case is $36 a share. Looking at the price chart, we can see that the stock is currently in an uptrend and it recently bounced on the upward trend line right here. So if the price obeys that trend line, we should see $16 in the next few months. But if it breaks below the trend line, I think the stock will possibly return to $10 or even $9. 
I did add to my position at $12 a share before earnings and my plan now is to keep holding my position. But if it goes below $10, I'm probably going to add very aggressively. So there you have it. Those are 10 reasons why I believe Hims is still a great buy despite the CEO's recent political comments. I think it's easy for us to get distracted by all this negative news and I think it's important for us to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and look at all the good reasons why Hims is still an amazing company to own. With that being said, I want to hear from you. Do you have Hims stock in your portfolio? What did you do over the past few days? Did you panic and sell or did you buy the greed? I want to hear from you so let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. As always, I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day. See you guys in the next one.